Hello, welcome to everybody. This is my new exhibition solo show in London at the Galerie Bartou. And the show is about uh, the opera, the Italian opera. I choose six different operas. And uh, here is the Aida, Aida from Giuseppe Verdi. So the story of a princess from Ethiopia. And uh, Ethiopia is in war against Egypt and she's been slave by Egyptian people. But she fell in love with a man called Radames. And the story is very tragic because at the end of the story, the girl and the man are buried alive. So this is the princess. Here the princess is in love. And here the princess is completely desperation because she's going to be murdered. Here we have another story. It's a story by Puccini, Giacomo Puccini. It's the story of a princess again, but it's in China, and we have the Turandot. It's a story in, in a very ancient and past China. It's a, a fairy tale story. This beautiful princess called Turandot has a very cold heart, but she needs to be married. So she, she proposed a, a, a tree enigma to the candidates but everybody failed until Calaf, the Prince Calaf, decided to solve the enigma. And the enigma, the enigma are three, so three paintings, which each one is for one enigma. And he solved the enigma, but the princess has a very cold heart. This is the princess. And this cold heart, she refused to marry the prince. And the prince doesn't want to marry her against her. So he proposed an enigma again. Discover his name. Nobody knows his name in the city. So she has one night to discover the name of the prince. And she failed. So in the morning, she wake up and she didn't, she didn't know the name of the prince. So he went to her, he kissed her, and the heart of the cold, cold princess melted and she fell in love. So this is the story of the Turandot, Princess Turandot. Here we are the last pieces that I painted and it's about the story of Romeo and Juliet. It's the opera of I Capuleti e Montecchi by Bellini. The last piece is about Juliet. Juliet pretend to be dead and Romeo doesn't know it. So he, he thinks that she's dead. So he embraces her for the last time and they are like in the, in the stars, in the sky. It's like floating in the sky, like two ghosts embracing each other forever in the sky. All the pieces are around here and there. And there we have Juliet and Romeo. And the, this, the most famous story, the love story, and very sad, sad and tragic. Again, we have Juliet ready to be married with the with Romeo, and here we have a Romeo. This is also one of the last pieces that I made. This is Romeo waiting for uh, Juliet. It's like if, if he's looking Juliet with uh, such a very proud uh, expression. Here we have another story. It's a story by Donizetti. It's the Bride of Lammermoor from a Walter Scott book. But Gaetano Donizetti tell a very tragic story about a girl and a man, and like Romeo, a kind of Romeo and Juliet, but we are in Scotland in the 17th century. Two families, enemies. We have Lucia and Edgardo. They are enemy, but they love each other deeply. So Edgardo promised to Lucia to marry her. But the family of Lucia stolen the property and the castle of the Edgardo family. And one day she's in the castle and she saw a ghost, a woman that was killed by his husband. And this is a very bad hormone for her. So one day Edgardo has to go to the battle in the war, but he promised to come back to marry her. And, she, and he asked her to wait for him. But in the meanwhile, the family tricks her. And the family says that Edgardo has another girl so, so they push her to marry another man, a very rich lord. 
She refused, but then she accepted. So the day of the marriage, Edgardo appears, and he saw Lucia marry another man. And he cursed her, and she gets mad. She gets completely mad. And this is the most beautiful part of the opera, because she killed the husband, and she appeared on the stage with a white dress full of blood, with a knife on his hand, getting crazy. And suddenly, she fell down and she died. And Edgardo discovered this tragedy and he killed himself. So it's a very dramatic and strong opera and I love this so much. That's why she's like a ghost, white with a, this dripping red like, a, like the blood. But she's a ghost, she has the eyes closed like if she a ghost. She doesn't know how to go because it's, she's desperate. This is a very touching, touching opera. I love this opera very much. We have another story of Giuseppe Verdi. It's the Joan d'Arc, a very, very famous story. Giuseppe Verdi changed a little bit the story, but I like the, the character. We have a, a very young woman, Joan d'Arc, she was only 15. She started at 13 and she died at 19. In, the, in this painting, they use a lot of red. Red is the color of passion, power, and also is like to predict the future because she will, she will go on the fire. So the, the red is the power, the blood and the fire. That's why I use a lot of red. And this is also a love story, a tragic love story as well, because Giuseppe Verdi imagined that Giovanna d'Arco fell in love with uh, the king of France, uh, Charles the Seventh. They fell in love, but then she renounced to love because of God. She promised to God to renounce to the human love because she has to lead the soldier to the battle. And she will die on the battle, but the angel transport her body in the heaven. And in these paintings, actually, I start with this one. She's uh, it's like she, she has an inspiration by God like a holy, holy saint, she looking for God. Here is the human love. So she look in a different way because he, she's looking his, uh, his lover. And in the middle, she's completely in the battle. So she's completely mad. And this is uh, the, the triptych. Then can, can, you can see three pieces of the girl. So the holy one, the human one, and the completely powerful girl. Here another story by Giuseppe Verdi is uh, the Otello. Otello is a very jealous story. It's a story about jealousy not only between men and a woman, but also between men for power. Because the story is about a, a very powerful man from Venice, and he has a lot of enemies because he was a very powerful man. So a friend of him called Iago start to trick him and he pushed him thinking that the wife, Desdemona, is cheating him with Cassio, another friend of him. So he was start thinking and getting mad, thinking that Desdemona was cheating him until the end when he went to the bathroom and he killed the girl. And when he discovered that the girl was innocent, he killed himself. This is a very interesting story because it's very modern. You know, we have a lot of kind of story in the modern uh, uh, era. So, and, uh, and also the character is very strong. That's why I use uh, a very strong brushes and the contrast between white and black is like the, the, the good part and the and the um, part very uh, obscure and darker. Also in this painting, he has two eyes, but one eyes is covered because it's like it's the, the part that he wants to hide. So this part is on the light and this part is inside of him. It's like a monster he has inside. This is a very tragic, tragic story.